Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Christian, and uh, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to fix a keyboard, specifically for the Razer Cyanosa Chroma, how to uh, fix a key from typing twice. So I just recently fixed this issue, but whenever I would type in, uh, what specifically the L key, it would type KL, KL, KL. And, um, that's obviously very annoying. So annoying that I decided to make a YouTube video about it. And so I could probably try to help anyone else who has this issue. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is you're going to want to identify which key or keys is the issue. If you haven't done this already, go ahead and check every single key just to understand which, which contacts you're going to want to be cleaning. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to take apart this keyboard and then I'm going to tell you to uh, clean the contacts and that should fix things. I've already done this but I'll do it again just to demonstrate on video and uh, so hopefully someone will get some sort of use out of it. So first off you're going to want to go ahead and unplug your keyboard from your computer. Now that your keyboard is unplugged you're going to want to turn it over and you're going to see a whole bunch of little uh, plastic thingies. There is a screw underneath each one of these holes as well as the little uh, pads here that um, keep the keyboard from scratching your desk. You're going to want to, as, as well as this one too, you're going to want to go ahead and remove all of these as there is a screw underneath each one of them and then we're going to have to unscrew them. So I'm going to do that now. The best way that I've seen to go ahead and do this is to just use a small flathead screwdriver to uh, pry these little little plastic things up. Now that we've taken off the little plastic protective pieces, we need to remove all 15 of these screws using a small Phillips screwdriver. Now that we've got all of those removed, we're going to gently remove this back cover from the front. When you remove this, the first thing that you will see is this little mesh here on the back. This is the part that we're pretty much going to be cleaning. You can clean the plastic piece if you want, but mainly what we're going to be focusing on is the contacts. Now for my specific issue, it was enough to go ahead and adjust this uh, rubbery mesh on here. I think it came out of these, these holes that it was set in and it kind of messed up where this was supposed to be pressing, but um, we're just going to go a little extra here and go ahead and just very gently pry this off. There are these little plastic holes that hold it in place that uh, you should be able to just kind of peel it off. You can clean that part if you want. It'd be easy to just go ahead and wash it with soap and water. Wouldn't hurt anything. Just make sure you dry it before you put it back on, obviously, because uh, electronics and water do not mix very well. I apologize for this glare. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you're not really missing anything else. It's uh, basically, these are, so these are all just going to be the contacts of your keyboard. They're what register your button presses, and we're just going to go ahead and spray these. Actually, we're not going to spray directly. We're going to use a lint cl uh, lintless cloth, and we're going to use some uh, isopropyl alcohol. This is just a little spray bottle from something else. I just put alcohol in it, but um, yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and wipe that down. Make sure that you don't spray too much of this stuff on here, because too much of a too much of a good thing is a bad thing, right? But um, just gently wipe the top. There are, I believe, two layers of these little plastic sheets here. Um, you can wash both if you want, or wipe off both if you want. I'm just going to do the top one, and then I'm going to go ahead and lift them both up. Make sure you don't bend this cable here. And then we're going to go ahead and wipe this part down as well. Make sure you don't have to push down very hard, just very, very lightly. Try to do circular motions. Go ahead and get all the gross stuff off. Shouldn't be too gross under here though. That's why there's all these protective layers. Now that we've got this all nice and clean, hopefully any the alcohol rode away any, uh, any nasty things that got near the contacts, we can go ahead and replace this little rubber mesh here. And uh, there is a specific way that you have to put this down. As I said, there's these little, uh, these little plastic things that this has to clip into all across the uh, entire sheet. I 
can't do that with one hand, so I'm going to set the camera down for a second. Now that we've got this cover back on, all nice and even, make sure you get it very even or else it can skew your results. This can also be probably the main reason that two keys are typing is if um, it's not on straight. That's obviously an issue. So now we can uh, do this probably a little bit unsafely, but you know, whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug the keyboard back in. See it lights up. And we can go ahead and test to make sure that our keys aren't double typing. Now, you're probably going to want to go ahead and use the front of the keyboard just to understand where these are because these aren't labeled, they're just bright buttons. But um, yeah, so go ahead and play around with any of the keys that you thought were um, or that were previously double typing and they should be resolved now. If not, try adjusting this mesh just a little bit and it should fix your issue. After that's all resolved, we'll go ahead and put this back together. Now we want to make sure to go ahead and unplug this before we start putting everything back together. I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt anything, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So, okay, unplug that. Now we are going to go ahead and slap on the top here. We're going to see if I can do this with one hand, probably not, but um, should just lay right on top and then force it down a little bit, give it a, make sure it clicks a whole bunch, and it should be good to go ahead and turn over. And now we can go ahead and screw this on. After we've got all the screws nice and tight, we can go ahead and put back on these uh, these little pads here and all of the little plastic parts. And then we can go ahead and test it and make sure it all feels good. All right, now that we've got this all back together, we can go ahead and plug it back in. And we can see it looks like the lighting still works. Good, we didn't break anything. <laughs> uh, let's see if uh, if I type L in here, will it do anything? Okay, so it looks like it stopped typing L and K at the same time. That's good. Those are the only keys that I had issues with, and uh, we'll go ahead and see if you had any other any issues with specific keys. Go ahead and test them out now and. If they're still wrong, go ahead and op open it back up, adjust stuff till it works. If it doesn't work, then uh, and you're still under warranty, you probably want to go ahead and call Razer and be like, hey, your product sucks. Anyways, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful in some way. Uh, there, are, I know of another video that um, was a similar sort of solution, but um, didn't show really how to disassemble or even say how to disassemble the keyboard. It was just like, boop, it's done. So I thought I'd make this. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day.